Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I am going to be doing another Hobonichi Cousin setup. So if you're interested in seeing how I set this up, please be sure to stay tuned and I'll be right back. Oh, and while you're waiting, go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. All right, great. Thank you so much again for tuning in with me today. Like I said, I have my Hobonichi cousin in this beautiful Moterm planner cover. So if you missed my part one setup, please be sure to go and check that out. I will try to remember to link it in the cards above. Um, but yes, I have this beautiful black Moterm cover, and this is what I did so far. I set up the front, I did the back, and I absolutely love it. Sorry for the ring. I'm going to actually move this cover to the side for now. Sorry for the ring light. I know that's blinding. I did have a different clear cover on, and then realized after watching some other videos that I purchased the wrong clear cover. So I did go ahead and buy another one and I'll show you. This is what the label looks like for this one that I have now. So it just has the wider spine, which it looks a little funky when you put it on. But just like I said, after watching some videos, I've heard that it will kind of fix itself. It just comes folded in half. So that's why it has this little like triangle piece. But I'm sure once this chunks up, it will fix itself. So again, this is what... This looks like, and I did just order it from Amazon. And then while I was there, I also went ahead and purchased this pencil board also on Amazon. So I have this because, again, I've been watching videos and apparently it's essential. So I went ahead and got that. And then I also have this pocket here because I used to sell these in my shop. So I had a blank pocket and I just added these couple stickers on here with You Are Enough and then some extra little stickers and these are all from the happy planner and then smitten agenda on youtube i was watching so go check her channel out but she gave me this idea to add the words so this was done off camera this wasn't in my initial setup and these are also stickers that i had from different happy planner books i used like three different sticker books for that so but i just thought they were cute and just a nice like words of affirmation type thing to look at. And then, of course, I already had this put in here. So for today's setup. But yeah, if you want to see what else is in here, please be sure to go ahead and check out the other video that I posted. So from the Coffee Monsters Co., which is so cute because apparently this order was packed by pop tater i love these little stickers they are super cute but i got this freebie i ordered these little like day off stickers there's a revamp and then i ordered these tabs and i couldn't decide if i wanted them in the ash or the white so i went ahead and got both and then i did go ahead and order the monthlies so i will be using these when i go to set up my monthlies starting in january but for today's video, I am going to be adding these tabs. <clears throat> and then I would also like to do a quick pin test so that I know which pins I'm going to feel comfortable with using. And then probably which ones like I will want to order more of just so that I have backups in case I need them. So now here is the test. Ash or there really isn't that much of a difference. Like for real. So I think I'm going to go with the white and then I might decide to add the ash ones later. So I don't remember whose video it was that I just watched recently, but they recommended starting in the back with the tabs and then moving forward. So I am going to do this. This is a very 
nerve-wracking process <laughs> and I haven't even started yet so there is a space hopefully you can see this where it's kind of gray here like darker and then you have the white so they suggested using something in between the page I wish I could remember whose video that was I got I really got to do better about that and just sticking the tab on the edge as best as you can. Fold it over and it's done. And I will do that for November. It's really hard. It's really hard to tell if it's straight. I guess just trust the process. <laughs> it's very difficult. So I will do one more. Line up the gray as best I can to the edge. I think that's good all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through the rest of this all right so I mean they're not perfect but I feel like it's not too bad for a first timer April and May, for some reason, got a little off. I don't know if it's the April or the May. I don't know. Anyway, April and May seem like they got a little extra spacey, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm proud of myself for the first time getting that done. All right, and then the other ones are where the weeklies start which they start here so somehow gonna make this be close enough okay so weeklies start here monthlies technically start here enough <laughs> and then the yearly I don't know if this will even fit let's see mm, I might put the yearly tab we're gonna put the yearly tab down here And then that way I can put the notes down here as well. Hmm. Let's see. So we'll put it 
roughly. just take yearly off because to be perfectly honest with you I probably won't even look at this page anyway I might do somebody said that they like just glue these pages together I may even do that because the likelihood that I'll use this page is very slim all right yeah so there we go I think that looks good I could have scooted scoot scooted scoot let me see. Maybe I'll put the notes. I don't know if I can pull it up without ripping it. Gentle. Gentle. All right. Sweet. Okay. So if you're very gentle, you can pull the notes up without wrinkling it. And I'll just put the notes tab closer to there we go to the December tab so it's not on an island by itself all right okay that's much better yay okay so anyway there is that and then on the notes page, I want to do a pen test page, but I'm thinking I'd like to kind of do that in the back and not in the front. Yeah, so we'll use this page because I don't really need this timetable page anyway, but I will go ahead and stick this through, but I don't really need that timetable page. So, for my pens, I have quite a few of them because I have a rather large collection. So, the Mod Liner, this is in uh, some sort of gray. This is like the Japanese version, so it doesn't have the names on them. So, Mod Liners are cool. There's a little smearing, but I think it's just because... That wet, wet spot was right there. Like where it makes the little dots, that's the only part that's going to smear. So I know that if I just let it dry a little bit, it'll be okay. I have the Zebra Sarasa Fine Liner. So if I let it dry, there's no smearing. If I don't, tons of smearing. This is in the black. It doesn't say what size it is. And then the shadowing on the back is like typical shadowing that I've seen. The Tombow Fudenosuke. This is in black and it's the brush pen. And I'm not going to try to spill Fudenosuke. So lots of smearing again if you let it dry. I know that these are a preferred pen. Then we have the Zig Color Dot in Pale Moss. So, woo, it literally like, oh my goodness, rubs off if you... Don't let it dry, like it almost rubs off the page. So definitely let your clean dot markers <laughs> dry completely. I have the Pigma Micron in the 03. And I have a ton of the Pigma Microns. Very little smearing on this one. I don't know if you can see that but very 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 little smearing let me see if i can zoom in 
Okay, there we go. That way I don't have to try to hold the book up. I'm not sure if that changes the quality of the video very much, but I'm trying. So then I have a Pilot G2. Oh, apparently I've never even used this pen. Hmm. All right, there we go. This must be a new pen. Pilot G7. Oh, lots of smearing, so yuck. Because the, even the word pilot smeared, and that should not have smeared. Here is the Inner Gel Clina. Oh, I like how it writes, but yeah, you definitely have to, you have to give it a second or else it smears, as does the rest of them. Here is the Sharpie Roller. Oh, maybe I have it. Another brand new pen <laughs> the 0 0.5 oh I don't see any well except for that dot but the dot is literally the only smear I see oh and then the L the bottom of this L looks like it has a little smear so the sharpie roller is good let me see what the back looks like oh yeah that's nice so the sharpie roller is a good one um, then I have the Uniball Signal and you guys, I'm not trying to like write nicely. I'm just trying to <laughs> get it done. So ignore the fact that I'm using like three lines to write a word. Ooh, that's bad. Yuck. No Uniball Signal. <laughs> oh, I already did the Sharpie. Oh no. Did I do a Sharpie S gel? Nope. Just the Sharpie roller. Okay. Sharpie S gel. More smearing than the roller. Here is my, I think these are called Muji pins. Again, I buy the Japanese version, so I'm not sure, but I think I've been hearing people call these Muji pins. And this is in the 0 0.35. So we're just going to write 0 0.35. These are like literally some of my favorite pins. And there is some smearing, but I think this is another one that if I just let it dry for a hot second, it won't smear anymore. I'm going to use it. Uh, yeah. So if you just let it dry for a little bit, the wet spots will obviously smear because some spots are wet, but I mean, not wet, but the dotted spots leave obviously more ink than the regular spots. All right, so this is just a regular tool pen. Not bad. It um, It's another one that if it dries, it'll be fine. It looks good through the back. Doesn't, no bleed through, so that's good. I have a Uniball. Oh, I already did Uniball Signal. Where's my other Uniball signal? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I just have it in a fancier. Oh no, this is different. So this is a 207 and this one is a 307. So ultra micro, micro. So it is a, a thinner pin and it actually works better than the heavier one. So if you're gonna get the Uniball Signal, get the 307s instead of the 207s because the 207 apparently is too thick. The ink is too, it's too much ink. So, and then I have this basic, just regular basic ballpoint pen because I have heard that ballpoint pens are like the best on this paper. I used to sell these in my shop. I think they're beautiful, but they are just like, well, oh yeah, <laughs> it's like no smearing at all. <laughs> 
So I do prefer a gel pen, although this pen, it writes nicely. It's just not as dark. I think that's the only reason why I like the gel pens a little bit better is because the, the writing is much darker. All right, and then I have this pen, which is multi MF something, 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 something. Anyway, this pen I purchased out of town and it was like freakishly expensive, but I just fell in love with it. So I went ahead and got it. But it's one of those, like, however you have it sitting is what color ink it is. So, like, if I push the button this way, it, it should write black. We're just going to call this the multi-pen. Just a little smearing. Then if I flip it this way, it should be red. see any smearing it's a little skippy on this paper but I don't see any smearing and then this way it should be a pencil <laughs> which is cool yep so yeah I really like this pen as you can see because it literally is like three different tools in one um, but is it the best on this paper probably not it does not bleed though and it does not uh this ghosting is the same for all of them and but it doesn't smear so that's good so it's more it, it almost writes more like a ballpoint pen i would say but just in color than the gel pens i'm pointing to that and you can't even see it sorry so i was saying it basically writes more like the ballpoint pen than the gel pen because it's a little bit lighter this is the very first time I've ever written with it, though. So maybe once it's used more frequently, it'll do better. But anyway, I think I'm excited. Like, so the majority of the pens I feel like you can use as long as you just let them kind of dry a little bit. Um, I'm curious about these color dots. I don't know if maybe if I try a different color but i am gonna like they because they are very wet i don't use these very often either though so i don't know if that's a thing or if it's just but i feel like i've seen people use these so it must just be oh yeah you just have to let them you just have to let them really dry they do kind of bleed through a little bit though so don't press too hard because this one if i would have pressed a little bit harder on that dot it would have bled through the other side so yeah i may or may not be using these right away because i feel like because i'm still new to this paper and figuring out how it all works i don't think that for me it would be probably a safe thing to start off with because i think i'll just get frustrated by it bleeding through because i pressed too hard you know accidentally so i think that'll be one of those things these color dots will be will probably be something that i practice with a little bit more as with the mild liners just to figure out like how much ink this paper will hold without bleeding through i'm already extremely concerned that this ghosting is going to bother me <laughs> because i have never written on a paper this thin before but it just looks so pretty like when i see the sprays and i see the pages it just looks so pretty especially in the daily pages which i plan on using primarily for journaling i think i said that in the last video but just in case i didn't i plan on using these pages mainly for journaling so you may or may not see very much of these pages because it's not even going to be like use your best handwriting and you know it'll just really be my notes or feelings or ideas or whatever comes to mind on that particular day but I do really want to get in the habit of just writing more and just kind of um, keeping memories that way so you will see more of my monthly spreads and then more of the weekly spreads which I'm so excited like I can't wait until this last week of De December so that I can start using this because I'm just I'm ready. If you have a moment, go check out Smitten Agenda on YouTube so that you can see her affirmation page because it is super, super cute. 
I think this is a really great idea and I look forward to being able to look at this page as time goes. And then I think this cute little card, I forgot about that, that I got. Well, let me see what does this one look like. Oh, it's like an under the seat. <laughs> so I think these ones from the Coffee Monster Curl, I think I'm going to keep here because I do plan on buying more stickers from the shop. And then that way, when I get those beans, I can put them. Yeah, that one's cute. I can put them on here and not lose them or forget about them and uh, have track of those. So, oh, and then I'll just go ahead and pop that in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the tabs for the weeklies. I know it's kind of like, eh, do I want two sets of tabs? I don't know. I have seen some people put tabs at the top. So yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below and let me know which planner you will be using for 2023. I'm really curious. This will be my first time not in a ring and or coil planner completely, like ever. So <laughs> I've always been in either rings, coils, or discs. So this will be the first time, other than when I did the bullet journal phase, this will be the first time that this will be my everyday carry planner. And the other one, the other daily will just kind of be my home planner because that's that has been working out for me. Having one that sits here is kind of like a um, command center. And then having the other one that I take with me has really been working out with me. But I have come to realize just as before that the bulk of the rings and the discs is just a lot. So I'm hoping that this being a little bit more compact and less bulky will be beneficial to me. So we shall see. But I appreciate you for watching. And as always, go check out the video that YouTube recommends for you next. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.